Hi, this is Russell Stunner from teachertrainingvideos.com. This is complete training in using Screencast Omatic. It's a two part course. Part one, we're going to look at literally making videos without even signing up to the account. And I'm going to cover things like using the webcam, doing a recording, saving it on your computer, and even saving the videos on your YouTube channel. And then part two, which you can click on now if you're interested in jumping there, we'll look at saving the videos onto Google Drive and it will look at some of the options you get if you sign in. And even signing in and creating an account in Screencast-O-Matic is free and you get some additional features that are quite useful, including making your videos password protected. Really hope the video is useful. As always, if it is, please like it. Please share it with other teachers and students. And of course, if you've got any comments, leave it in the section below. Let's get started with part one. So we're on Screencast-O-Matic. I'm gonna click on this button here, record for free. And the first thing we need to do is to launch the free recorder. So we're looking at the technology first without even signing up. And incredibly, you can use this technology without even creating an account. So I'm gonna click on this button here and it's gonna download a little plugin. And if it does download onto your computer, then you will need to run that. Now, I've actually got that plugin kind of already on my computer, so it's just a matter of launching it. But if you do need to download it, just download it and obviously run it, and then you'll be in the same situation as me. Now, simply click on this button here, and it will launch the recorder. And this is often where teachers go wrong or where students go wrong when they're working with Screencast-O-Matic. And you'll see any minute now that it will open onto the screen. Now this is where teachers go wrong as I've said and the reason is that they'll start now by clicking on the record button but obviously at the moment if you record and it's this area here that's going to be the recording then you're going to record what is behind here. So the first thing you need to understand is that this recorder is separate from the website. Okay I know you opened it from the website but if you notice you've now got a little application down here at the bottom you can notice that. So the first thing that you need to do is to minimize the screen. Now we can get whatever we want ready behind here so that we can record it. Now we can resize very easily as well by just bringing this in. And what I'm gonna do for this first one is I'm gonna record myself talking over a PowerPoint slide. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up a PowerPoint slide onto the screen. So I'm gonna double click here and it's gonna open up a PowerPoint slide. Now I don't need to do this full screen because the quality of the video is so good, I'm just gonna kind of build, make it like this size, okay? So that I'm recording the PowerPoint slide like this. It will still be fantastic quality, and doing this gives me much more control. Now, I've got a few options here, but just for this first one, I'm just gonna do it in a really basic way, and that is I'm just gonna click on the record button, okay? So I'm not gonna look at using a webcam or using both. I'm simply gonna click on this button here and begin to record myself. So I click on here, Okay, today I'm gonna to do a presentation about teaching online and we're gonna look at five of the most important principles to think about when teaching online. Okay, then you see that I just clicked on the pause button to stop for a minute. Now I can move on to the second slide. So I just click on it, then I can carry on the recording. The first rule to keep in mind is try to link the two main components of an online course. That is the live component using something like Zoom or Microsoft Teams and the platform. And platforms that we use are often platforms like Moodle or Edmodel or Blackboard. Again, and I could just carry on like that. Now, once I've finished, the recording, I can delete the recording as well, but once I've finished the recording, so I can keep going on doing slide after slide, but once I've finished, I click on the done button. When I click on the done button, it's gonna ask me what I wanna do. Now, what I'm gonna do is just a really simple example here. So we're gonna click on save and upload. And now the video is immediately ready for me to check and listen to, and then I can save it on my computer. So all I need to do now is just to click and listen, just check everything's okay. Okay, today I'm gonna to do a presentation about teaching online and we're gonna look at five of the most important 
Okay, you can see it's absolutely perfect. Now there's one very interesting thing. You can actually delete little bits. So if you want to edit that, and let's say I wanted to start the video here, I can do that, and I can do that here as well. And that's often quite useful because we often have some dead time at the end that we don't want, so we can make the video here. And perhaps if we make a little bit of a mistake at the beginning, then we can edit that, that out. Now what I'm gonna do now is save this onto my computer and play it to you. And I just want you to show you the quality, even though we've recorded a small size. So I'm just going to click on this button here, save video, and then notice it brings up here a couple of things. The first thing is that that tells me the type of file, MP4 file, file name, so I might want to give it a particular one, so I'm going to call this TTV video uh, 1, and then the folder, well I'm going to save it on the desktop. Yes, I do want the uh, highlight the cursor and I'm going to click on publish and all that is going to do now is actually save that recording onto my computer now let's actually open it up and listen to it so there is the video I'm going to click on it and if I click it will open up onto the screen five of the most important print notice how big it is notice the quality and even the audio quality and that is without even signing up that's just using the basic recorder to record a presentation or to record myself talking over a picture or record myself talking over some students work you can see how easy it is to use that technology now i'm going to go back and look now at a couple more things just a super quick plug-in from my website. If you like the video that you're watching and you want more free videos, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Loads and loads of technologies here at the top. And there are lots of videos on the front page of the most popular current videos. And if you want to follow my work, the best thing to do is to sign up to the newsletter. That way you get updated with all the latest videos, the webinars, the online courses, and the blog posts I write. Right, let's get back to the video. So I've just launched the recorder again because I just want to show you a few more options. I'm going to minimize the screen so that we've just got a bait, nothing behind us again, okay? And in a minute, I'll actually put something behind here to record. But one thing I want to point out is that we do have the option, if we want to, even in the free one, of having the webcam on. And you can see now that I can be on the webcam. In fact, I can even do a recording with just me on the webcam and nothing else. So you do have that option. And you will see that often I do that in the introductory video. So I start with a quick introduction to myself with me on the screen when I'm doing the opening presentation, though I normally turn myself off while I'm presenting. But it's very useful to know that you can do that. Now I wanna look at a couple of other options as well. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna record myself talking over a series of pictures. So I'm just going to upload some pictures and put them behind the recording. So we're going to talk over these pictures here. I'm just going to make the recorder a lot bigger to fit that. Notice also that you've got a few options here in terms of the webcam. I'm going to start the recording now. So I click on the record button to start. So first of all, I want to talk about this picture here and talk a little bit about it. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I've done my first picture. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna click here and move on to the next picture and now carry on. Now I'm gonna talk about this second picture, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I've done a recording there where I've just recorded two pictures and now what I'm gonna do is click on done and again, we're gonna click on save and upload and instantly we can see the video on the screen. So first of all, I want to talk about this and that's all working really, really well. So you can see how easy it is to do this. But what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to save this video on YouTube. So all I need to do is click on the YouTube button and it links instantly to my Gmail account. So I have connected okay, by well you can do that by just adding the account, adding in your Gmail account plus your password and it will connect so that you can upload your videos directly into your YouTube account. Now, the only one little tip is you do need to activate your YouTube channel first. If you haven't done that, you do need to go over to YouTube and just activate your channel. But once you've done that, you can upload videos as you want. If I click here, I can change the title. If I click here, I can add a description. I can add some tags if I wanna do that. Here is really useful, set the privacy 
Now I normally work with unlisted. Unlisted means that the video can't be found on YouTube, but if you share the link, people can access it through the link. Set the category, I normally set it as education. Yes, the cursor we want. And then simply we click on this button here and the video will now be uploaded onto my YouTube channel. It's very quick if you've got a good internet connection as you can see. And now I can even copy that link and actually look at that video and see what it looks like on YouTube. So let's paste that link in and press enter. So first of all, I want to talk about this picture here and there's the video. So that's how easy it is to put the YouTube onto or put the video onto YouTube. You could also save it onto your Google Drive. Um, there are a number of options actually in the free one. Now to find my videos, all I need to do is log into my Gmail account, click on my apps, come over to YouTube. And what you want to do is just click over here and come down to YouTube Studio because YouTube Studio will give you, uh, if you click on content, a list of all of the videos that you've uploaded, including the video that I just uploaded here. And if I wanted to now get that uh, link back, I can click here and get shareable link. I can also delete the video from here. So that is really useful to know because this is where all your videos are saved. And the content button is really useful because it allows you to do a number of really important things like delete the video, give it a new title, and of course, share it. Okay, really hope that video was useful. Please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com if you want more free videos. And um, if you're looking to follow my work, the new videos, the webinars, the blog posts, the online courses, then the best thing to do is to sign up to the newsletter. Of course, you can also follow me on YouTube. And don't forget, if you follow me on YouTube, to click on the bell so you get the updates when the new videos are loaded onto YouTube. And finally, if you do want to contact me about doing any training or doing a presentation for your organization, then you can contact me from the website. And thank you very much.